Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about error 404. What is it, why it occurs and how you can resolve it. I have made a video about this error before, but this is an updated version which I hope it will offer you more help to clear out this error and prevent it from happening again. A 404 error is an HTTP status code error and it means that the page you were trying to reach on a website couldn't be found on their server. This means that the server itself is reachable, however the specific page on that website is not. This error can come in different ways. The most common messages you get about this error are the requested URL and they will mention the URL name was not found on this server. HTTP 404 Error 404 not found 404 file or directory not found 404 page not found HTTP 404 not found The page you're looking for can't be found 404 error 404 not found Error 404 all these messages are pointing on the same error, which is error 404. So if you get one of them, this video is the right video for you to get to know the reason of this error and how you can resolve it. Possible reasons and result for this error. The first one, you have typed the website or link incorrectly. I will show you a live example about that. Now I will go to my Chrome browser. And here I will type google.com slash just any letters, which is an incorrect URL, just anything, let's say GFDSA, enter. You see, I'm getting directly the 404 error because I have typed a wrong URL. Now, if you want to check if you are typing a wrong URL or no, you may uh, check it on one of the search engines to see if it is correct or no. If it's not correct, that's why you are getting this error. But if it is correct, we will check now possible reasons and solutions how you can sort this out. Another possibility is that the website owner has moved a page or deleted but did so without redirecting the old URL of that page to a new one. When that happens, when you type the old URL, you will receive a 404 error instead of being automatically routed to the new page. Now, if you are a website owner, it's very important to route the old page to a new one to avoid customers trying to access the old page and getting this error. Noting that if this error happens a lot on your website, customer may lose their trust and they would feel the website is not well maintained as well as the search engines will degrade your website ranking which will affect the traffic you are getting. So it's very important to connect the old page you have deleted to a new page. Now if you are not the website owner, you are just a customer or somebody visiting uh, that uh, page and you want to check if the page still exists or no, you can move up one directory level at a time. Uh, let's say for example Let's say, uh, let's say choose a random website, which is, let's say, www.vwxyz.com slash a slash b slash c slash. And when you enter uh, that page, it gave you the 404 error. What you can do, you can remove the last, uh, uh, the last letter and the slash. You can log into www vwxyz.com slash a slash b slash here you have removed the c and the slash so if that page is not there uh, was deleted by uh, by the owner of the website then this uh, the last link which you have uh, typed removing the letter and the slash should work should remove this error if this happens that means this page has been deleted Another reason could be why you are getting this error is that you need to clear your cache browser. So I'm going to guide you now how you can do that. To clear your cache browser, what you need to do, you need to go and open your Chrome browser. On the right hand side, you will see three dots. Click on it, then click on settings. 
Then on the left hand side, you will see privacy and security. Click on it. Then go and click on clear browsing data. Here you will see browsing history, cookies and other site data, cached images and files. What we need, what we need to clear is cookies and other site data as well as cached images and files. So I'm going to deselect browsing history and uh, make sure the time range is all time and then click on clear data after clearing the data uh, restart your pc and then check if the error 404 is still there or it has been resolved the last result for this error is that you can try to contact the website directly and ask them if they have removed the page you are looking for if yes that means the 404 error that you are getting is completely legitimate. In this case, they should be able to fix this error by redirecting the visitors logging to the old page to a new one so they can avoid generating the 404 error on their website. With that, I hope I have helped you to resolve the 404 error. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to watch up upcoming videos. Take care. Goodbye.